Stanley Pringle's virtuoso performance last night was still not enough to get the win for Team Pilipinas. The bearded guard of the Northport Bayhang Pier dazzled the Mall of Asia Arena crowd with his fearless drives and slick ball handling, topping the home team in scoring with 29 points, to go along with 3 rebounds and 4 assists. His efforts, however, wounded up going for naught, as Kazakhstan's quicker big men exploited the Philippines' flat-footed bigs through precise ball movement and spacing, which resulted into plenty of open looks from downtown. Ball screen defense remains our main weakness, Pringle admitted to reporters post-game. A lot of times they split the screen and I think their bigs were a little quick and they had a little advantage in the ball screen. Alexander's Zikulin displayed his range and feasted on the perimeter all game, tallying a game-high 30 markers on 6-4-12 shooting from Rainbow Country. The Philippines hounded the passing lanes and forced Kazakhstan to commit 21 miscues, which they converted into 32 points on the other end. Costly pals down the stretch, however, plagued the home team, as Kazakhstan converted on their charities to seal the victory. Our biggest story tonight was our defense. We scored enough to win, but just couldn't get enough stops," Pringle concluded. Team Pilipinas, meanwhile, will have to look elsewhere for scoring against Iran on Monday, as head coach Yanguiato confirmed that Pringle will be replaced by their other naturalized player Christian Stan Hardinger. We will lose Stanley's scoring and aggressiveness and leadership at the point guard position, but we will gain Christine's quick canis and his active play which we lack today with our teams," he said. With the loss, Team Pilipinas dropped to a 5-4 record and will have to win all their remaining games to stay in the hunt for a spot in the 2019 FIBA World Cup. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe on this channel. This is your PBA TV, signing off.